everybody. B here from the Itty Bitty Homestead. Um, welcome back. This is the second video that I promised you guys on um, our DIY cabin decor. So I've um, got my jars painted. As you can see here, we have this pretty pink one. You can see that. I have a small blue one. I just love this color. So pretty. And then I have a white one. I like the white one too. I used um, <clears throat> the paint that I used for this project. It's called Home Decor Chalk by folk art and I got these at Hobby Lobby sorry Bella's in the background whining she wants to go to bed she's on the same schedule that I'm on <laughs> so I work the night shift so I'm gonna go to bed here in a little bit and that's why she's uh, whining if you hear her she wants to go to bed so um, what we need to do now is we need to put our um, tops on. I've gone ahead and drilled a hole because I got these drawer pulls. You can see them right here. These are the drawer pulls. Whoops. I got these from Hobby Lobby as well. They're just um, drawer poles and uh, that you would put like on a dresser. Uh, if you were redoing a dresser, this is that's what these are. Um, <clears throat> but they come with these long screws and um, <clears throat> I was trying to cut it off with my jigsaw but I couldn't do it so I just left it on. But if you're <clears throat> handy or you have um, your husband is handy he can cut uh, this off for you um, but I just left mine on I'm gonna get my husband to cut mine off um, before I use this actually so anyway so what um, we need to do now after you've painted your jars and you've let them dry it took mine about an hour to two hours. Chalk paint uh, dries pretty fast. So what we need to do now is we need to take our E600 glue <clears throat> or um, uh, any other kind of um, craft glue that's real sticky. Um, but I like this glue. Anyway, so let's uh, we're going to take this and we're going to put a little bit on our brush we're going to take our jar lid we're just going to put some glue right around the the top here okay and then you also would you also would like um a blah, blah, blah. sorry you also need to take some glue and put around your drawer pull, okay? So that it will stick. Okay. And because I drilled a hole in my lid, which um, if you cut the screw part off, you won't have to do that. You would just glue your, your drawer pull directly to the lid. <clears throat> so this is what it should look like. Okay? And you're gonna let that, you're gonna let this dry. For a little while. And then, the next thing we need to do is we need to take our jars with some sandpaper and this is fine. I got the fine um, grit sandpaper 
and we need to lightly sand our jar to give it kind of a rustic, old-fashioned look. So, <clears throat> see if I can turn you guys this way. can see that it just sort of gives it a rustic look to it so just take your time and go around and lightly sand let's do our little blue jar <clears throat> Pink is my favorite color. I really like the pink one. gives it like a little rustic look. I will probably work on this a little more, but you don't want to sit here and watch me uh, sand. So anyway, okay, the next step is now we need to put our lids together. We're going to put it on our jar. <clears throat> Okay, so it looks like, can you guys see that? So it looks like that, okay? Get them all put together here. At Hobby Lobby, they have all kinds of um, drawer pulls. So you can see I have three different kinds here. And this cute little pink one. 
So yeah, just it was fun picking these out. It really was. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to get our twine uh, string here. And we're going to take, you know, cut yourself about 12 inches of twine. And we're going to take it. Let me turn you guys down here. We're going to take it and we're going to wrap it around our jar here. Let's cut this piece off. It doesn't look very pretty. Okay. And you can wrap it around however many times that you want, really. I think actually I'm going to uh, cut me a bigger piece because I cut that one way too small. So then just take it and go around your jar as many times as you would like. Yeah, I think it looks a lot better with um, a lot more string. It looks a lot better. Okay. And then tie yourself a little knot up a little knot like so then you can cut your pieces cut cut your pieces off and there is your DIY cabin decor So I won't do um, all of these because you get the idea with this one. Um, I just thought it was really cute. I plan on using these in my bathroom. Um, I plan on uh, putting cotton balls. Um, you could put Q-tips. Anything that you want to store. Little bath bombs. Um, uh, somebody in the comments suggested... Um, that you could also use these as a planter for little uh, plants. I thought that was a really cute idea. And um, some of you guys played along and made your guesses and you all guessed really good guesses and it really made me happy that you played along. So thank you. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, project. Um, this is something I'm gonna use in my bathroom, in my cabin. And I hope um, this gives you some inexpensive ideas um, that you can do uh, if you want to decorate uh, your home, um, farmhouse style, cabin style, um, or just have something pretty. Anyway, thank you for watching today. I really appreciate all of my subscribers. Um, to the new subscribers, welcome and thank you for subscribing. And I plan to go to the cabin tomorrow, so I have another video out um, the first part of the week on, uh, on the cabin. So um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye!